Prime Minister is an angry man and visibly rattled about tomorrow's by-election. The telling sign of just how worried he is was his performance at a press conference in Dunkley this morning where he seemed to spend more time talking about Peter Dutton than his own candidate. All negativity, no forward plans. I think people see that about Peter Dutton and we opposing everything, being negative about everything, running fear campaigns. It's all about scare campaigns. But this is an opportunity to send a message to Peter Dutton. They need to do better. They need to stop with the fear campaigns. The guy is clearly obsessed with Peter Dutton. He has nothing else to talk about. Why? As I said, he is worried and desperately trying to deflect from the fact that Dunkley is a critical test of his own leadership. It is a referendum on himself. Tomorrow, we will find out if voters stage a midterm protest against Labor over the cost of living. And the Prime Minister knows it. So much so, Labor tested Anthony Albanese's wrong priorities with voters ahead of the by-election. The Herald Sun reports leaked material from a Labor focus group in Dunkley painted Anthony Albanese as having the wrong priorities, wasting a year talking about the voice referendum and spending time overseas while Aussies struggled with soaring living costs. Liberals' federal director Andrew Hurst said even their own research reveals that Labor is worried that Am Albanese has been focused on the wrong priorities and that the residents of Dunkley are paying the price. Well, if you want to test cost of living pain, Look no further than Dunkley. The electorate has a median income of $43,000. So, as we know, there's no coincidence changes to Stage 3 tax cuts were rushed forward as they help around 87% of people in that seat. The question is, will voters accept an extra $15 a week in their pockets? In these hard times, that barely scratches the surface. When asked today what more he will do to help voters in Dunkley, this was all the PM could offer up. When it comes to cost of living, uh, we'll examine every day, every week, every month what more we can do. That's what we've done. <laughs> we know that is wrong. Another lie. Where is the $275 in energy bill relief we were promised? And as my colleague Laura Jays pointed out this week... If you say you're doing everything about cost of living and trying to help people out, why don't you cut the petrol excise? Uh, what we're doing is taking the best advice mm. on how we can make a difference without putting pressure on inflation. Once again, his priorities are all wrong. We saw that on Friday when he was dancing the night away at Taylor Swift's concert. Then got an exclusive invite to a private performance by Katy Perry at the Melbourne mansion of billionaire Anthony Pratt. And where will the PM be tomorrow night? Oh, no, no, not in Dunkley, but at his own birthday party. The by-election doesn't suit his busy social calendar. And, I mean, thank goodness Albo has found another event to attend since Katy Perry and Taylor Swift have left the country <laughs> now. The PM turned serial socialite is either oblivious or just doesn't care. Well, you know who does care? Those doing it tough in Dunkley. Voters don't like being lied to. My word is my bond. My word is my bond. Hmm. We will see if voters tomorrow accept that.